How to install the HP Design Jet Z6 and Z9 Plus Pro 64-inch printers. In this video, you will see how to assemble and set up the printer. We will first unbox it and then assemble the stand, basket, and then configure the printer. The process will take about 90 minutes. Before you begin setting up the printer, make sure you gather all requirements. Four people are required to assemble the printer. Minimum space required, 4 by 5 meters, 160 by 130 inches. Printer calibration will require paper, not included in the box, minimum roll width 432 millimeters, 17 inches. You will also need the information to connect the printer to the internet via a local area network. It is recommended to download the printer firmware from www.hp.com and have it on a USB dongle before starting the installation in order to avoid waiting times. Firmware and USB dongle are not included inside the printer box. Required tools, Torx T15, T20 and T25, T20 included in the box. The purgers will come inside of the printer carriage assembly. To assemble the printer, you will need the following pieces, documentation, cartridges, print heads, a maintenance cartridge, 3-inch adapter kit, rectangular foams, basket pieces, stand legs, stand bars, user maintenance kit, EE cables, AT20 screwdriver, removing the packaging, remove the protective plastic sheet and carefully cut the two vertical straps. The box contains an opening diagram instruction indicating how to open the top of the box. Remove the box. Cut the straps from the two stand bars. Remove the basket box from the top of the printer. Cut the straps and remove the inner packaging and the stand boxes. Remove the pieces of foam. Remove the adhesive tape pieces and stick them on the foam pieces. Use the handles on the back of the printer to turn the printer upside down. You'll need four people to do this. Remove the wooden pallet. Remove the left and right wood stand legs. Use a T25 screwdriver to unscrew the four screws from the two wood stand legs. Remove the Disicans bags from both sides. How to assemble the printer stand. Take out the stand legs and screws from the box. Install the shoulder screw. First install the top shoulder screw, then install the left leg. Note, when installing the shoulder screw, it is normal for the left leg to move. Install the right leg. How to assemble the anti-sway bars. Install the anti-sway bar holder and the two screws. Install the anti-sway bar holder at the top of the right leg by attaching it with one screw. Install the anti-sway bar holder at the bottom of the left leg and attach it with one screw. 
Take the longest crossbar and place it into the slot on the right leg. Move the left leg out of the way and place the other end of the crossbar into the slot on the left leg. Move the crossbar to the bottom of both legs. Install the anti-sway bars and fix them to the sway bar holders using three screws on each anti-sway bar. Make sure that all the screws are fully tightened. Install the anti-sway bar. Screw in the anti-sway bar using the two black screws. Your printer should look like this. Rotate the printer wheels until they point to the center and block them. How to turn the printer. You'll need four people to turn the printer. Carefully turn the printer with three people at the back of the printer and one person at the front. Remove the foam protecting the front panel and the foam on the right side of the printer. Remove the adhesives and open the window cover. Remove the adhesive tapes from the straps and pull the straps down. Remove the tape locking the cutter and move it to the left side.
Unclip the carriage. Turn the locker 90 degrees to unplug it from the scan axis beam and move the carriage to the left. Assembling the basket. Remove the basket from the box. Install the two basket holders, one inside each leg. Check that the basket holders are correctly assembled. Fix the basket holders into place with two screws each. Insert the metallic bar into the fabric on the side without straps. Fix the two holders to the legs. Slot the metallic bar into the two basket holders and click it into place. Note, insert it vertically. Attach the basket. Setting up the printer. Connect the power cable to the printer and then to the wall outlet. Connect the network cable. Turn the printer on. On the front panel, the HP logo appears. You will be prompted to select the language you want to use. Insert the firmware USB in the USB port in the back of the printer. Once the printer detects the firmware, press OK. The printer will begin installing the firmware. Wait until the process is completed, and then remove the USB dongle from the printer. The printer will continue installing the firmware. The printer will restart when the installation is completed. If you have an HP Gloss Enhancer cartridge, you can start the installation process by selecting the arrow button. Press the cross button if you want to skip this process. After the printer has restarted, select the altitude on the front panel. Setting up the print heads and installing HP EcoCarton ink cartridges. If your printer is an HP DesignJet Z9 Plus Pro you will find 9 HP EcoCarton ink cartridges, and if your printer is an HP DesignJet Z6 Pro, you will find 6 HP EcoCarton ink cartridges and 3 print heads. When prompted by the front panel, insert the HP EcoCarton ink cartridges. Insert the HP EcoCarton ink cartridges one by one. Each HP EcoCarton cartridge is marked with its ink color. Each cartridge should only be inserted in a slot marked with the same color. Avoid touching the pins, leads, and circuits on the ink cartridges. Once the HP EcoCarton ink cartridge is inserted, the printer will display a message confirming that you have installed new, original HP EcoCarton ink cartridges. When the ink system is ready, 
the front panel will prompt you to open the window and the print head cover. Open the window. Pull the latch to open the print head cover. Locate pre-installed purgers and verify they are seated in its position. Close the print head cover and the window and press continue. The ink initialization process begins. Open the carriage print head cover and verify that each purger contains ink. If not, restart the ink initialization process. Remove and discard all the purgers. You may need to use force to extract each purger. The purgers contain ink, which could leak out. Avoid touching the pins, leads, or circuits. The print heads are still not installed in the printer at this stage, as they will be inserted at a later stage. When all the setup purgers have been removed, press next on the front panel. The front panel will prompt you to install the maintenance cartridge. How to install the maintenance cartridge? This task has a time limit. Have the maintenance cartridge ready to install, and wear gloves. Find the maintenance cartridge door and open it. Insert the maintenance cartridge into the slot. Close the door. The printer will check the status of the maintenance cartridge. A confirmation message on the front panel will confirm that the maintenance cartridge was successfully installed. Initializing the ink system. When the maintenance cartridge is installed, the front panel will prompt you to install the new print heads. Open the window and the print head door. Pull up to open the print head cover. Unwrap each print head and remove all the orange parts. The print head is designed to be inserted into any available slot. But once a print head has been inserted into a slot, it will only work with that combination of colors. Insert the print heads one by one. Push each print head into a slot until it clicks into place. The front panel will detect and display the print heads once they're inserted. Close the print head cover, the carriage latch, and the window. After closing the window, the printer will purge the print heads. This operation takes around 10 minutes. Once the printer finishes checking the print heads, the printer will start preparing the ink system. When the front panel prompts you to align the print heads, load paper into the printer to perform calibrations. Select the appropriate media type, loading method and proceed. Confirm the media length. Printer will align the print heads automatically. The printer will ask to accept the data collection and privacy statement. Check network configuration and firmware update. Register and connect your printer. Use this QR code to register the printer in PrintOS and get full functionality. Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages. And search our channel to find official HP support videos.